quick one for you today. Done a Windsor Rapid with four 185 watt Sunman thin films on the roof. There's the Sunman 185 thin film lightweight panels. The two in series, two solar controllers on this one, nice and lightweight. There's an air gap under there, it's got the polycarb um, strips underneath. It's hard to see it. I took a photo of it so you can see it. It's all on the VHV tape, so it sticks down quite well. And this roof is quite warpy, so they're not going anywhere. I'll take you inside. So inside old girl here, we're going for the Cymarine setup. And this is running the quad 50 shunt. And we are running, so there's the five shunts there, the five 50 amp shunts. There's the main shunt. Uh, so obviously you can see the solar's just come up then. We've gone for main 12 volt on one shunt, DC charger on the other, because we've got the Orion Victron on this, so the 30 amp um, on that channel. The solar here is, um, it probably get close to the 45 amp mark in summer, and the fridge is on the other shunt as well. We're going for the differential pressure sensors on this for the tank. These are very accurate. These are voltage sensors, so they're not like your old little arms like this thing has. All right, it's voltage output on these very very linear very happy and you know i can set this with calibration points so we've done a we've done a full drain and a full uh, fill up and then we've put a midpoint accuracy on that for this fridge temp as well so there's a little temperature sensor down there our mates here to put the fridge in so a little temp sensor ready for him to put in the fridge so he'll be able to monitor his fridge temperature obviously it's not a fridge right now and there's your barometer that's your basic screen that comes with the Cymarine setup. And then you've got the detailed screen, which is in the options. I like this screen. Shows you what's remaining in the battery. Now, this is the PowerPool uh, 330 Mercury. The reason I've got 340 there is because, because his battery has tested at 340. That's because it has, and I'm very happy with that. This is what's happening at the moment. I reckon the charge controllers are probably be in absorbed stage. A little orange light down there. Yeah, happy days on both of them. Now they're both networked together, guys. This is the setup. So there's the DC charger here. There's the two Orions. All right, so two 185s are on this one. The other two are on this one. That's coming down on a 45 volt string. There's the mains 30 amp charger there for when old mates plugged in the mains. That's the quad 50. There's the MIDI fuses for that setup there, running all on positives. As you can see with the siren, you can do that. There's the big master shunt. We're gonna to add to a, an inverter on this later on, which is why we've done all the heavy cabling now. So you're gonna put a couple of thousand one inverter on it or something. Um, old mate's existing circuits we've, you know, we've done here through diesel heater and the main 12 volt. So those existing circuits are rewired through this. We've gone for the tank sensor so we can run the um, differential pressure sensors. And there's the power pool lithium, which old mate ordered on his own. And that's all in there, secure down, not going anywhere. So there's room for a second power pool here, hard to see it, but we measured it up and it's like 220 there. So we're able to get another power pool here. So that would be a lot. If it goes the extra power pool lithium, that'll allow old mate to have 660, 680 odd amp hours of uh, energy to run the inverter there if we ever stick in there. So we'll probably go the Victron setup and it's all monitored on the Cymarine system. So the good thing about the Cymarine stuff is you can obviously label it. So you're not privy to sort of any, any brand of inverter. You can sit whatever you want and it's, it's, it's neither here or there, but either way, this is a pretty cool setup guys. So just to recap real quick, six 185 Sunman thin film lightweight solar panels, cause this is a pop top running on two Victron 30 amp solar controllers network together, of course. So they run in unison. We've got the Orion 30 amp DC to DC charger down here. We've gone for the Cymarine setup, running the two separate uh, shunts. We've got the larger 300 amp shunt, and we've got the four by 50 uh, quad shunt there. And we've also got the tank sender um, differential pressure sensor on this for very accurate tank monitoring over the old arm. And yeah, it's a pretty good setup. Rewired the factory circuits through this system, 330, 340 amp hours of lithium. We've done a fridge circuit for our mate because he's going to be putting a compressor fridge in this. And yeah, just going through all the programming, very happy with this setup, very basic one, but um, you know, quite involved to get it into this spot. And we've done a little bit of venting, oh, as you can see there, I might flip this around for you guys to see that. There we go. You can see it on this one, it's nice and easy. Uh, there we have it, old mate's old original hole there that's at the rear for his cables. We've just dropped through a 
you know, ABS fridge line. I mean, that's like a meter away. So this fridge isn't going to have any dramas at all from running. So there we have it. Nice and neat, simple, effective. This is a really big upgrade for this van. And she's an old girl, you know, 09 Windsor. And these things are awesome. You know, you get your shower and toilet. That bed end goes out. This bed end goes out. This room, you know, this this will even drop as a bed. So it's like a full family size van, but single axle. So you're able to take it to a lot of places. But I'll bring back to the uh, Simarine screen and a little video that I will put up separately. But just take note because we're pretty close to full and it's just, just sitting there. But take note of the main 12 volt take note of the solar see how closely they're matched so i've got led lights on at the moment now i'm going to put the rain shirt on or, or another load now i want you to watch i want you <laughs> i want you to watch main 12 volt number and this solar number here just look at those carefully i'll keep this iphone as still as i can guys all right here we go i'm going to put the rain shirt on all right that's on now turn it off all right now we'll do it again you ready What that's doing is it's matching. The solar controllers are realizing that there's a load and it's compensating and it's, it's actually matching it. It's pretty bloody close to me. I like that. And that's a really good example of what it's like. If you've got enough power available on your on your roof and your batteries are full, where does that energy go? Well, obviously once the solar controller shut down, they shut down. But if you pull a load from it up to what whatever's available, it will compensate for it at any given time. So happy days with that setup. Um, Cut myself with a blade on the roof. These things happen. So we actually took the wine guard off this. So we've done a little bit of a patch here. So he had the wine guard antenna on this, which old mate said he never uses. And um, for him to get this amount of wattage on the roof, that was the, his only choice. That specific size panel, the only time we could get that on the roof in that spot was if we were to move this, and we did. So that's been fully patched up and repaired. Um, what else did we do on the roof? Look, she's a bit warpy, you know, like this. these old kind of pop tops have that kind of warpage in the roof so when you do have the fin film panels make sure you space them out enough for that you know for that give because as the sun heats up your roof you guys with vans already know you're going to hear that sound you you'll hear that expansion and contraction with hot and cold so when you do put the fin film down that's why we raise them off the roof as well not only for cooling that's an efficiency thing all right and for the warranty but also for that that movement on the roof you know you must be able to have that panel flex because that's what they do so you can't glue the whole thing down like i've seen them done back in the day you know the you'd sick of flex all of the whole back side of it so they were pretty much part of your roof um no go they they get hot the panel would go open circuit i have peeled the ones that i can peel i've peeled hundreds of these things off the roofs of caravans over the years some i can't even peel off i have to put glass panels with brackets straight back on them because they fail this way with the with the core flute um it's not core flute, it's polycarbonate it looks like core flute but it's polycarbonate it's a little bit thicker and we put that really good quality vhb tape underneath it and then we sick a flex in certain spots um they're not going to go anywhere but at least there's flex and if you see the sicker flex there, there's flex in in that in itself so and because we've got this one in the corner and this one in the corner either side of the um scooper um you know that's where the, it does flex and it does sort of bow off quite quick so having that flexibility um, in the way you install it will, will go to making things last a bit longer. So there we go, guys. Old mate wants to run this from an inverter. So that'll probably be next stage. And you guys have seen, we did an older, uh, I think it was a Windsor 2. Um, that was a, like a late 90s one with a really old air command thing and like older model than this. And that ran from like the Victron without any dramas. Consistent 700 watts, I think it was. So these guys, right, in good sun, will be able to produce enough power to keep up with that air conditioner, even off this single battery. That's a 330 amp hour um, tested at 340, guys. That's that power pool mercury. So these guys will be able to run this once we put the inverter in, you know, completely off grid. And this is only a small van, you know. This thing will that'll take the edge off it. Yes, it's a pop top. It's not as insulated. But, hey, to be able to take the edge off, you know, a stinking hot van or even while you're driving a long runner, you can do that. You know, you get your DC charger pumping in power. You get your solar pumping in both simultaneously from our systems. And you know, that's plenty. Heaps. Even if that thing's only pulling 50 and you're pumping in 30, you know, odd amps, you're only pulling 20. So do some quick maths. You know, with zero sun, 
three hours you've taken 60 amp hours well i'd pay that any day for a cold van on arrival if it's stinking hot and that's what you do you're still going to manage your energy nothing's infinite you know you've only got x amount of solar you've only got x amount of battery capacity it comes down to your consumption and how you manage it so there we have it guys i'll um put you back on the cymarine screen do a, another couple of flick arounds on it and uh any questions you know drop some comments below i'll put a link to um, powerpool's battery again in the comments below getting hundreds of calls of them guys like i said i don't sell them directly if you want to buy one hit him up um so i'll put the description below on that one and just click his link and you can follow to his scouts or his 330 mercuries um there we have it enjoy guys mm -hmm.